on lullaby trail Tumbling Weeds roll along Whispering its song On lullaby trail Mother Nature weaves a mellow Hey, Lucky. Look at Fuzzy. <laughs> He's got some more samples from his matrimonial agency. The lovesick coyote. The trouble is, they're all quoted F.O.B. the East. They want Fuzzy to pay the freight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lucky. How much longer are we going to play nursemaid to a bunch of dogies that don't belong to us? Oh, not much longer, Stormy. Mr. Allen's due west any day now to take this off our hands. We're just helping him out of a hole. Trigger pals, huh? Well, I thought we were yeah, going to... Yeah, I know. You thought we were going to roam the country. Well, keep your shirt on. We will. Okay. Cut off the steers at the rear of the herd. Hey, look. Looks like there's trouble up ahead. That guy with the beard ought to be easy to take. Watch, Fuzzy. Come on. Oh! <laughs> 
I guess we've lost him. Yeah, there's too many tracks. Shall I run into town and tell the sheriff? No, he's got more stolen cattle reports now than he knows what to do with. Them there rustlers sure been working overtime around here lately. Was that rustlers started that trouble on your flank? Oh, no, no. The cattle just started milling around for no reason at all. There's always a reason. Let's get back. Take care of the rest of that stock. Any luck? Yeah, all bad. How many had they get this time? Oh, about 50. That makes over 400 in a month. I can't figure out how I rode into that rope. I can tell you how you rode into that rope. Yeah? Keeping your mind on yeah. that instead of turning to business. Oh, I was not. I was right on the job there. Well, well anyway. I'm in love. He's in love. Hey, them there rustlers must have been tipped off that we were moving that herd. He's improving. You keep on, you'll be half-witted. Just the same, he's right. Don't encourage him. Let's go. I'm sorry, Mr. Gates. I can't extend your loan any further. I'm being rustled poor. The stock I was going to sell to pay you off was stolen this morning. Oh, that's too bad. But you see, others are in the same position. I've got to keep taking in money to run my business. And my limited capital is stretched to the breaking point now. Then you won't extend? Under present circumstances, I honestly can't afford to. I'm sorry. I've built up my ranch from nothing. I never thought that. Steve, how'd you make out? We just took another bite out of that Allen herd right under Lucky Morgan's nose. Good. Good work, Steve. Keep concentrating on that herd. Oh, and by the way, you can forget the Gates Ranch from now on. Right. Okay, boss. Well, what's on the program now? We gotta keep Morgan from filling that beef contract of his. And then the boss steps in and buys himself another ranch. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hurry up the house, Lucky. New York's been trying to get you on the phone all day. I'll bet that's Mr. Allen going to fire us for losing all his cattle. Well, I hope he does. We've been here too long now. Take care of things, Fuzzy. Take care of things, Stormy. Morgan. I'm ready for that New York call now. Thanks. Hello? Yes? Yes, this is Lucky Morgan. Who? Mr. Allen's lawyer. Yes? 
days. That's too bad. It's Mr. Allen's lawyer. I bet he's gonna sue us. He needn't have done that, but it's well just the same. All right, Mr. Carr. And thanks a lot. Now, I knew it. He's gonna fire us, the ungrateful old... Hold on, Fuzzy. Mr. Allen's dead. Dead? Yes, he died suddenly yesterday. Gee, he was a swell old guy. He sure was. Well, I guess we can clear out of here now. Not yet. Why not? Because he left half this ranch to me. How come you? I guess he appreciated my good work. Maybe you can sell out to that land broker, Kent. You know, he wanted to buy it once from Mr. Allen. I'm not going to sell. I'm going to put this ranch on its feet like I promised Mr. Allen. We'll meet that beef contract to bust, and anybody that tries to get in our way is going to get hurt. From now on, Stormy, you'll be foreman. I got other things to worry about. What am I going to be? A silent partner, even if I have to gag you. And speaking of partners, who gets the other half of this ranch? Miss Allen's daughter. A woman. A woman? Don't worry, boys. I reckon she'll be so busy with city affairs, she won't even know she has a ranch. And I hope she doesn't find out. Hey, when you two lady killers get through talking about women, how about us going out and get a couple of rustlers? Yeah. I got a few ideas about that. Come Good. on. Like you and Fuzzy went the wrong way after them stairs. We went the way Pete took us. Come on, let's follow these tracks down into the drawer. like a smart place to run stolen stock. Yeah. There are hundreds of tracks here leading in both directions. Yeah, but the freshest ones seem to go that way. Now, how are we going to tell which one is ours? This ain't getting us no place. Well, that's what I was thinking. Every side draw's got tracks leading up into it. Yeah, what's the draw's got to do with what we're going to do here? Shut right up. Now? I'm shut. Wait a minute. I haven't found anything yet. Hey, did you fellows hear anything? I've got a feeling we've got company. Company? Hey, I've had company for an hour, unless it's this new underwear. When our cattle went in here, it's a cinch they went out. And your job is to find out where. And I'll find out where if I have to follow every side draw to its end. Unless that new female half-owner runs us off first. Don't worry about her. She won't have a thing to say about the ranch. Good. <laughs> So transact no further business until I arrive. It is my intention to convert the Circle A into a dude ranch. Sincerely yours, Doris Allen. How about that, a dude ranch? Females and me don't track, I quit. Hold on, Stormy, you're not gonna desert me just when I need you. Hey, a dude ranch might not be so bad, uh, gals and everything. Uh, Shut you... up. Let's ride, Stormy, we gotta buy some cattle. Oh, no you don't. Transact no further business till I arrive, remember? Does she think this ranch is going to run itself? Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Ain't you forgetting something? Now what? Well, Miss Allen expects you to meet her down the train. You take care of that for me, will you, Fuzzy? And uh, don't forget to have the boys brand those yearlings they drove in this morning. No, I don't forget. I wonder why Mr. Morgan isn't here to meet us. Oh, dear. I'm so excited. Just imagine meeting some of those big, strong Western men I've read about. Oh, Auntie, please. Hey, we must be late. There he is now. Allen? Yes, are you Mr. Morgan? No, but uh, I'm his top hand. Top hand? How thrilling. So western. Oh, this is Miss Archer, my aunt. 
Uh, howdy, ma'am. Uh, my name is Fuzzy. Oh, Mr. Fuzzy, I know I'm going to like it here. You know, I once read a Western story, and the hero had a beard just like yours. So rugged and romantic. I'm sorry, Miss Allen, but uh, I didn't expect you to bring company, and I only brought one extra horse. Oh. <laughs> Won't your horse ride double? Yeah, I reckon he will, uh, but you, you'll have to ride in the rumble seat. Why didn't Mr. Morgan come to meet us? Well, you see, he couldn't, ma'am. He, uh, he fell off his horse and, uh, broke his, uh, uh, broke his arm. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Yeah. The poor boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, what are you waiting for? Grab an arm and load of bags there. Oh, Mr. Fuzzy, I just love to ride double. Yeah. <laughs> you better uh, take Nipsey. <laughs> oh, what a pretty horse. Is okay. this your horse? Yeah, that's right. Is this a pimento horse? Yeah, it's chilly, all right. Oh, I just love horses. I'll help you up here. Oh, am I going to get up there? How thrilling. Oh, is that the way I do it? Yeah. Right out west. Oh, just like a merry-go-round. <laughs> oh, dear. Come to Mama. That's what happens when you got females around. And I told Fuzzy to take one man. Hey, I got an idea. Let's give him a hot welcome, huh? Right.
lucky for you I came along. That's a matter of opinion. Better get your horse. The folks will be waiting. Couldn't I walk? Reckon you could, ma'am, but I never let a lady walk. Well, are you in the habit of doing this sort of thing? What? Saving ladies? No, scaring them. Uh-uh. What's the idea? I thought I left orders for work to be done. You see, Mr. Morgan, you wanted Miss Allen met, so I... Uh... Yeah, but not by the whole ranch. We're still in the cattle business. Are you lucky, Morgan? Reckon I am. I'm glad to see you've recovered from that broken arm that kept you from meeting us. Why, you mutton-headed old meddler. Well, I... Shut up. Uh... Yes, ma'am. If you think you're going to boss me as you do your men, you're greatly mistaken. Yes, ma'am. Come on, boys. Yes, ma'am. those men doing? Branding. Stop this at once. Just a minute, ma'am. This is a cattle ranch, you know. I don't care what it is. You're not going to torture helpless creatures. We've got to brand them. That's the only way we can tell our own cattle. There must be some other way. Sometimes we notch their ears. You know, slit them a little bit. Are you going to stop them? All right, boys, hold it. Our new boss is going to show us a different way to label the helpless creatures. The house is right over there. Would you like to have me show you around a little bit? We'll manage very well without you. Come on, Aunt Minnie. Goodbye, Mr. Fuzzy. Oh, Aunt Minnie. <clears throat> yes? Uh, you forgot your, uh, flying toupee. <laughs> flying toupee? You do say the cutest thing. <laughs> All right, boys, let's get this job finished. When a storm appears up in the sky, a cowboy sings a lullaby. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay. Yippee-yay! All the cows wear ribbons on their neck. They're making steers a total wreck. Yippee-yay! 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 The cowboys on the ranch were tops in branding all the strays until someone came along and changed their way. And when roundup time is drawing nigh, a cowboy sings a lullaby. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay, yippee-yay. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay, yippee-yay. The cows wear ribbons on their neck. They make steers a total wreck. Yippee-yay! 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 The cowboys on the ranch were tops in branding all the strays. Until someone came along and changed their way. Up time is drawing nigh. A cowboy sings a lullaby. Yippee-yay! 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 Yippee! What's the meaning of all of this? Well, I figured since we couldn't brand the cattle, we had to have some way to mark them. I suppose it's very funny. But if you think I'm going to change my mind about a dude ranch, that's another of your mistakes. 
Oh, lucky. I forgot to tell you. I ran into Smith this morning. He says he's got 25 head on the lower range you'll sell us. But he wants money in advance. All right, I'll write him a check. What's he getting so fussy about? Come on up the house. Smith forks at this ride in the town and cash it. I want that cattle. Aren't you taking a lot for granted? How's that? I'm half owner of this ranch. You should have consulted me before writing any checks. I gotta have some cattle to fill a big contract. It'll be a bad loss if we don't make it. Is it good business to contract to sell cattle you haven't got? We had them until those rustlers got them. It's beginning to appear this ranch hasn't been operated very efficiently. Things will be different when it's a dude ranch. I've been looking all over for you. Yeah? <laughs> Get going to Smith. Give me that check. Fuzzy, sit down. I want to see if this sock fits. Well, I can see from here that it can't fit. Oh, I... Fuzzy, sit down. I'm glad everything is going to be all right, oh, as you say. Hanty, please. Well, who's that man? Oh, it's the Kent. He phoned he wanted to call on a business matter. He's real nice looking. Miss mm. Allen? Yes. I'm Harvey Kent. I phoned you know. Yes, how do you do? Uh, this is my aunt, Miss Archer. How do you do, Mr. Kent? How do you do? Won't you sit down? Yes, thank you. I hope you don't think it's too early to talk business. I came over to discuss the possibility of your selling the ranch. I made your father an offer and he had practically agreed to sell. I think it'd be a good idea if you got rid of the ranch before it runs down too much. Mr. Allen had no intention of selling and you know it. Seems to be your word against mine. It doesn't seem to be, it is. There's no need to be rude about it. I'd rather be rude than a liar. You'll have to excuse him, Mr. Kent. He's not himself today. To the contrary, he's quite himself. It's funny that Lucky Morgan's sense of loyalty to your father hasn't kept him from letting the ranch get into debt. I'm afraid I don't quite understand what you mean. To put it bluntly, it's general opinion that Lucky Morgan is either grossly incompetent or is actually in league with the rustlers. I can't believe that. About the rustling, I mean. I didn't either until... Until what? Oh, I'm not going to trouble you with this until I'm sure. Well, thanks for riding out, Mr. Kent. Oh, I'm glad I came. Good day, Miss Allen. Goodbye. Mr. Kent is nice looking, but I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw this sock. Imagine him saying that Lucky's a ruffler, a muffler, a rustler, well, whatever you call him. But wasn't Lucky masterful the way he left here? Oh, Auntie, you're impossible. I am not. That fuzzy person thinks I'm right nice. Why, he's even going to drive me to town to help me do all my shopping. Well, Fuzzy, I hope you have a nice time in town with your new girlfriend. Uh, she thinks I'm going to take her shopping. She's crazy. My 
what our quaint little town. <laughs> I just love to go shopping, and I want to get some of those things. I just love those things, don't you? <laughs> Where shall we go? Oh, we'll go right over to that store there. Fuzzy, are you hurting Mitzi? No, but I'd like to uh, get rid of these bundles. Oh, well, come along. <laughs> we'll put them in the wagon. <laughs> Buy the cattle? No. Why not? It's cash, old man Smith wants That's you. not the idea. That stock was rustled not an hour ago. Two of Smith's punchers were shot. That's funny. That's the third time cattle's been run off just as we were going to buy them. That's right. Just you and I and Smith should have known about this deal. I wonder who else got wind of it and how. When you told me about the Smith deal at the ranch, did you see anybody leave right after? No. Well, I did. Who? Pete. Why, I'll tear that hombre No, apart. you won't. We'll just give him plenty of rope. It's not a funny thing, Stormy. You know, while all this was going on, Kent was at the ranch telling how it was running down so. You no, know, I'd like to size up old man Kent some more. Maybe you and I ought to pay him a friendly visit. Friendly? Well, I reckon it'll start that way. Okay. Laying aside our personal opinions of one another, could we do a little business? What, for instance? I need some cattle to fill a contract. Will you sell them to me? I'm not in the cattle business. You're getting in it the way you're foreclosing ranches. That still doesn't put me in the cattle business. And even if I were, I doubt that I'd do business with you. No need to get hostile about it. I thought maybe you'd like to liquidate some of your holdings. Well, I don't particularly to a man who has just called me a liar. That used to be a fighting word. My, my, how the West has changed. If you'd finished, I'd appreciate it if you'd go. Finished? I haven't even started. Well, do you need that blotter? You got more, haven't you? Hey, Lucky. What was the idea in pinching that blotter? Plenty of idea. Kent was making a list of the ranches and the stock he rustled from them and used this blotter on it. Oh. Then you were right about him. Sure, he's in it up to his neck. Well, what are we waiting for? Who says we're waiting? It took more than one man to rustle all those cattle. Yeah, I know. But that guy Kent. Lucky a bird in the hands worth two in the bush. Yeah, we take this bird and we lose our chances for those in the bush. Mm, okay, General. But you're sure cramping my style. Now put them in the wagon. I have loads of shopping to do. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got to see Fuzzy about something. Hey, Lucky. You gotta get me out of all this. That woman's killing me. She's... Pipe down, look. I want you to do something for me. Do something. Do something. Everybody wants me to do something. Fuzzy do this. Fuzzy do that. Nobody ever does anything for me. Look, you know that silver bridle over at Barker's? Yeah. Buy it for me. Tell him to charge it. You ain't going to do it, is you? No. It's from Miss Allen. Kind of a peace offering. Yeah. And don't forget it or I'll scalp your chin. I just did. Uh, what? I bought a horse. Now listen, lady, I don't mind carrying bundles and a dog, but when it comes oh, to... Oh, no, no, I'm having him delivered. <laughs> oh.
I think they're heading back to their ranch. We'll take care of them. thrown a shoe. It would be just as easy to go on to the ranch as go back to town. Sure. We'll take it easy. We'll wait for him up there. Somebody parked on the trail up ahead. Let's rush them. Rush who? Why, well, we don't even know where they're at. Yeah, that's the way right. things stand, we got to play it safe. Here, when I give you the signal, you come on with the horses. All right. I heard him. He did. Listen. Drop those guns. I think they went that way. Wait a minute. The first thing you know, we'll be running into another ambush. Let's head back. Okay. I told you never to come here. Well, I had to. Did you stop those fellows? Yeah, we stopped them, but they got started again. What happened? We were ready to take them, and Morgan surprised us and killed Clem. We just barely got away. I think I've got a way of handling Mr. Morgan. I'll get a fresh horse and hit the trail again. Uh, better check on Pete. Right. You like it? Like it? Uh, women don't like anything but trouble. Hey, and you gotta help me keep that old battle axe out of my hair. <laughs> okay, Fuzzy, I'll see what I can do. And thanks, pal. Miss Allen. Hello, Mr. Kent. I've been looking into that matter as I said I would. Yes. 
I find it's even worse for Morgan than I thought. Mr. Doris, can I speak to you a minute? Alone? Well, speak up, Pete. What's wrong? Well, I just spotted a couple of rustlers running off some of our stock. Yes? I got pretty close to them down by the river, and one of them looked mighty familiar. Who was it? Well, I hate to say. Well? Well, it was Lucky Morgan. Lucky? Yeah, it's easy to tell who it was. He saw through one of his shoes. anything about this yet. No, ma'am. If that shoe fits, it only remains to find out where he's hiding the stolen cattle. I can't believe it. You may have to. Let me handle this alone, please. Certainly. Howdy, ma'am. I Then you just did don't... lose a shoe. Yes, but where did you get it? From the man who found it. On the trail of your rustling. Rustling? Don't try to deny it. You were seen. And Mr. Kent said... Kent, huh? What did he say? He warned me about you. And you believed him? I think you'd better sell me your half of the ranch and then get out. Well, if that's the way things are, any time you get the papers drawn, I'll sell. Better come with me. Gates found some of his cattle in our upper range. That proves what I said. That stock was planted there, but Gates got hostile and went for the sheriff. Let him. What else happened? I found out where Pete goes. Good. Come on, show me. And after Mr. Kent said that, Pete brought in a shoe he said Lucky's horse had thrown. Pete brought it in? Yes. Why? That's very strange, because I saw Mr. Kent pick up one of the lucky shoes in town. You're sure? I said so, didn't I? I've got to find him. Who? Mr. Kent? No, Lucky Morgan. Come along, Fuzzy. Him, Stormy. Okay. I'll see where he came from. Right. Get down off that horse. Morgan spotted the cave and is heading this way. Get out there and keep an eye on him. Gates has got the sheriff after Morgan. They're about ready to leave with the posse now. What's that? Morgan's at the cave? That's great. Fix it so he'll be found there when the posse gets there. I'll join the sheriff right now.
What happened? Morgan just got past me and he's now in the case. After we finish him, we'll blow this place up like Kent planned, and then nobody will find them cattle. Well, Pete, I guess you'll stay put till I need you. Get in here. Got the rustlers, and here's one of them. Mr. Kemp, why did you lie about that horseshoe? That is the man you want, Sheriff.
Sheriff, try and get away. Hold on, you, till I get the straight of this. Let's see what that blast was. find all the Russell cattle in a box canyon the other side of this hill. The rustlers drove them there through a tunnel. There's the man at the head of it all, the man who wanted all the land for himself and didn't care how he got it. Man's crazy. Go on now, tell the sheriff what you told me. Well, I took orders from Steve and Kent. I ain't gonna be the goat for them. Don't he sing pretty. All right, hold it, everybody. Oh, <laughs> 